party people welcome to another weird little video um good morning <laughs> i'm clearly like just waking up uh, i feel very puffy today i'm not really sure why i wanted to give you guys a quick update on my sort of new diet or way of eating um it's been going really well um other than a couple of slip ups not gonna lie i'm about two weeks in i think and um there have been a couple of days where i've like you know had a little bit of sugar i ended up having ice cream like a few days ago after dinner which i thoroughly enjoyed and do not regret so far it hasn't turned into an issue like i'm not like going back to eating a bunch of sugar so um, I feel pretty good about it, but in terms of like uh, my skin, um, I don't know, I'm having a tough time. I really wish that I could, you know, see results faster so that I could know what to do or what I'm doing wrong. I'm just gonna keep on keeping on and hopefully I'll see some results soon. I guess I was expecting to see greater results by now, but that's okay. I have not had any coffee or any Diet Coke throughout this whole process. I've been really firm about not drinking Diet Coke because I know that I'll just like go right back to drinking it every day and a lot of it every day. So I've been really firm about that. I'll give you another update um, next week. Maybe we'll see some more drastic changes in my skin. Oh yes, also I did um, dye my hair super dark. It's not black, it looks kind of black in this light. Um, it's not. Don't worry. What am I doing today? <laughs> so today um, I wanted to start a project that I have been um, kind of planning on doing for a while, but I just haven't gotten started on it yet. Um, and that is I want to create smudge sticks. This is something that I've been thinking a lot about. I have been really like kind of unhappy in my space lately. Some of you who watch this maybe have been to my house that I live in right now. It is tiny this is like the tiniest tiny house without actually being like one of those trendy tiny houses i think that we're at about like 450 square feet super duper tiny it's basically like a studio apartment but it is like separated by walls <laughs> like i love where we live we live in a really great location and there are things that i love about where we live like we have a great yard um luke has a great shed that he can paint in and um, it's just like a great location. We're really close to like downtown. We're super close to everything. But it's just reaching a point where I'm like feeling really claustrophobic in my own space. There's only so much like redecorating you can do. Um, I love to like move my furniture around and change where I like hang things on the walls. But like I'm feeling like less and less motivated to deal with that stuff just because like I would rather just like not be here, if that makes sense. So I want to like get some good like healing energy in here, some like rejuvenation. So I've been doing some research about what kind of smudge sticks I should make and how to go through this process. And so I have a lot of herbs in my yard. The previous tenant in this house was like a major, major gardener. So we have like tons of herbs and like vegetables and fruit and like all sorts of stuff in our yard and it's super cool. Um, but we have so much herbs that a lot of them go unused. Like I have a ton of rosemary, but like I don't find the opportunity to use rosemary like all that often. Like I use it plenty like when I'm like cooking like steak or whatever, but I don't like baked bread or anything like that. Like, I don't know, I just don't really use rosemary that much. Anyway, so I was like, you can smudge rosemary, you know, right? Um, I'm also gonna make some bundles with some mint, probably like mint and rosemary. I just have so much stuff. I was also reading about thyme and how thyme can be used to like, sort of like cleanse the mind and like remove like mental blocks and so hopefully that'll help me to be more creative in my space because that's another issue honestly sometimes when i'm like filming or like planning a video i will feel like i need to like leave my house like i'm like i can't do this here that just like can't be the case i really need to be able to have a space that i feel like i can have a clear head in and then the last two things I have in my yard that I think I want to use are oregano. Oregano I'm pretty sure you can smudge and I just like really love oregano and I think that it's, you know, supposed to be used to like promote like happiness, which bring it on. And um, I also have tarragon, which I don't necessarily think you can smudge, but I'm still gonna harvest some of it and dry it out just for fun. 
So um, I'm going to go cut a bunch of herbs and I'll kind of show you my process. And then um, I'm going to dry the herbs out in the sun once I have them all wrapped in bundles. And then a couple weeks from now, I'll be able to actually do some like smudging. try to make everything like a uniform size. I think for this one I'm mostly just gonna do mint and rosemary. It's such a beautiful day. It's just so stinking hot out. <laughs> so I think that might be enough for the first one. What do you guys think? Now I'm gonna wrap it. This reminds me of that scene in Julie and Julia where Julia or Julie is making the like duck and she has to tie it. <gasps> How did she do it? I forget. I don't know. I'm not gonna try to pretend like I'm a professional. I'm gonna make kind of a handle at the bottom because I think that's normal. Not bad, eh? Uh, now I think I'm gonna make one just solely out of sage. Really beautiful kitchen sage. I think sage is so pretty. It makes me kind of mad. I'm jealous. So, sort of similar process to this one. I'm just gonna trim it up to a certain length. Something like that. Size of my head? Sure. Sure, Catherine. So I definitely did not even notice that my camera stopped filming because <laughs> I was super duper in the zone. Um, but so far, um, I've got five different smudge sticks. Um, this is just um, rosemary. Rosemary and oregano here. This is just sage. Um, this is mint and rosemary. I've got some tarragon and mint. Now this one I'm not sure if I can smudge or why I would, but I just made it just because, but I'm gonna do some research obviously before I do that because I don't wanna like, I don't know, cause like some toxic gas to fill my home. Um, and then I've got, look at this little tiny thyme. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Um, actually, I wanna show you guys where I'm gonna be drying these. Cause, um, because it is so hot and sunny uh, where I live right now, I thought I'd just dry them out in the sun because I can. So I've got this great container. Let me show you. Um, and this is great too because it has holes in it so that they'll be able to breathe, um, which I love. And I'm just gonna find, um, I'm gonna find a good place in the yard for these. I have a lot of like little hangy do things. <laughs> wow, that's a word. I am good with words. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hang them right here. Um, this is where I hang my <laughs> watering can, as you can see. Um, 
they should get plenty of sun right here during the day. And um, I'll check on these periodically. And hopefully two weeks from now, I'll be able to maybe give them a final little trim and actually smudge this place. Finally. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you so much for subscribing if you do. If you don't, you should. And um, I'll um, keep you guys updated on how this all goes. And obviously, don't come for me if I'm not like making the right combinations of herbs for smudging. Because I don't know what I'm doing, but I plan on doing my research before actually lighting any herbs on fire. So, don't worry. I'm not just blindly going to light things on fire in my house. Not this time at least. Okay. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.